Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have some tips and tricks to get back on track with your food, your weight loss, etc. Um, I will say I've had really fun in the last, I don't know how long, maybe a year. Prior to that, I was a little shy about branching out from unboxings. So whenever I do a non-unboxing, these ideas randomly pop in my head. Um, I take notes on my phone and when I, you know, have enough, then I film it. And it's kind of been really fun to branch out from the unboxing. Um, I am by no means perfectly back on track. I would like to lose some weight. We will see whether that happens. Normally, I don't film these videos until I've been successful for a while. Um, but I have just recently had although I'm currently not on it, a 10 day streak. Um, and while I was on that streak, thoughts kept popping into my, my head of like tips and things on how to get back on track. My main goal is to love myself as I am. And I think for the most part, I am being successful in that. And so um, I firmly believe you have to love yourself wherever you are. I personally don't think it's a good idea to beat yourself up mentally because of your weight or whatever your circumstance. That's my personal thing. Um, I have basically gained all my weight back and I'm back where I started, whoever knows, um, a couple years ago. Um, and I guess I'm not really happy about it. Um, I would like to be at least 10 pounds lighter um, and really a little bit more than that. Um, and I really don't know how to keep it. So uh, well, maybe like two weeks ago, it's, I really, it feels like something comes over my brain and I want to be on track and I am on track. Um, and that lasted for 10 days. And then I kind of think a key of how I got off that is I couldn't work out. It was raining, so I can't go on my hikes. And then I just had a bunch of family life, things with my daughter that kept me from the gym. Um, and I'm not a person that's going to go at like four in the morning or, you know, 9 p.m. So it just didn't fit in the day. And I feel like had I been able to keep working out, the endorphins and the things that come from working out, I think might have kept me on track longer. But anyway, some tips and tricks for getting back on track. So it had been quite a minute since I've actually tracked food. So the first week I didn't track. I basically ate whatever, but I was very mindful of my portions, only eating when I was actually hungry. And again, eating a, I mean, I don't even know the word correct isn't right, but correct for me portion. And that's all I did on the first week. Um, so I eased myself back into it. And then the second week, I actually started tracking. Um, I use Noom at the moment, kind of a calorie counting thing. Um, and so I feel like if it's been a while since you've been on track, don't jump due to the polar plunge on the first day. Go slow and take it day by day. And then something else I was doing um, was drinking a lot of extra water. I know everybody says that. I pretty much do drink a lot of water. But when I was getting hungry in the afternoon, I would get a, down a bottle of water prior to. And sometimes that kept me till dinner. Sometimes it didn't. I mean, they always say that sometimes your hunger isn't really hunger. It's you're, you're thirsty. Um, so I was trying to drink extra water, especially in the afternoon. Um, and I also feel like you need to eat what you want but in a smaller portion, whatever. So if you love pizza or you love ice cream or whatever it is you love, I personally don't think it's going to work if you just cut it all out. Because are you really going to go the next 50 years and never eat a piece of pizza, never have an ice cream cone? I mean, for me, the answer is no. So I feel like you have to find ways to work around it uh, or work it in your diet rather. Um, and for me, um, number four, which I haven't been numbering them for you guys, but my number four is really, really listen to your body. And I am bad about this. Um, I used to think I was one of these people that had no food signals. And I feel like we get really good at kind of training our body, which is another one down the line, and your body gets used to it. And so if you wait to eat until you're actually hungry, um, and it will come, that helps you when you, as you're eating and if you eat slower, then your body will sense that you're full. And the key is to stop. Um, 
I often will kind of reach that halfway through the meal, maybe three fourths of the meal. And then I don't know whether it's the childhood, you have to finish your plate. I get stuck finishing my plate. So I feel like if we listen to our body and let it organically decide things, I feel like we would be a lot better off. Um, and I don't even know, if we're gonna be honest, I don't know what I wrote down for number five. It says, figure out your food. I'm not sure what that is. Um, it could be triggers. I used to have a lot of trigger foods where I couldn't just have one of them, like Oreo, sweets, often sweets trigger. Um, I will say I've gotten better at that um, for the most part, but I'm really not sure what I wrote down for number five. Um, and then I was kind of alluding to number six earlier. I really do feel like your body gets used to how you feed it. Um, when I personally get into the carb, sugar, um, my body craves it. And it literally every day will, uh, like a message in my head, go buy Oreos, go buy graham crackers, whatever it is. And I feel like you train it. Um, and so if you stop that, your body stops telling you all the cravings and such. My problem is how to keep that. And so I had done that for like 10 days straight. I was good. I had ice cream. I had whatever. And it felt so good to be on track as far as I'm not overeating. I'm a classic overeater. You probably could diagnose me as a binger, although that seems like extreme, but it, it very well could be. But I'm a classic overeater. If that's binging, I don't know. Um, it, but it feels so good to have the ice cream cone in a reasonable amount in the calories that you're supposed to have. I wish I could bottle that and inject it on the days where I have like, I don't know, my brain, somebody takes over and um, Noom calls it your elephant. So I don't know, but there's days where I feel like my elephant or whatever takes over and it's really hard to say no. Um, but I do feel like you can retrain your brain you have to stick to it. Um, anyway, just know if you're struggling, I'm on the struggle bus too, and it's okay. Um, we get one life to live. I decided last summer that I did not want to spend my life struggling. I mean, I kind of still am on the struggle bus, but at the same time, I feel like if I get there, I get there. And if I don't, I don't. Um, I just don't want to spend my whole life, um, over obsessing about this. Anyway, I hope some of that helped. Um, anyway, just know you're beautiful as you are, and I hope you have a really good day.